In our previous tutorial, we began the process of showing you how to position, freeze, and colorize multiple clips on the screen at once. We took each clip and we adjusted the time of it. We added a freeze frame to the beginning and the end, but we ran into a problem. Because my freeze frame on track number three, though it has a black area, this black area is not empty. It's black. And so it overrides the two tracks above it. So we're going to begin to fix that problem as we continue this tutorial. Before we do, let's give you another quick look at a semi-finished product. So let's fix the problem that we had with our snapshots, our freeze frames at the beginning and the end. I'm going to click on the snapshot of the bikers in track number three. And when I double click, I get into my PIP designer. We're going to fix the problem that this black area on the right obscures the tracks below it by using our chroma key settings. So I'll click on the right arrow to the left of chroma key activate chroma key and I'll use my eyedropper. I click on the eyedropper and then I move over to the area I want to be transparent. In this case it's the area that's black and I'll click on it. Now immediately you see the track underneath begin to be visible but that track also has black so we don't have a problem here with this. We're finished here. I'll click on OK. Then I move to the track beneath it, the gal in the car, and repeat the process. I double click on it, and I'm going to use the chroma key tool on this as well. I'll turn it on, use the eyedropper, and click, and now I see the track beneath it. So now my problem is corrected on the left side. I'll click on OK. We need to do the same at the very end, so I'll move back to track number three, double click and we'll quickly chroma key the black click on OK move up one track repeat the process quickly chroma key the black area and now I see the still videos below we'll click on OK now when we play the entire clip from beginning to end we'll go back to our movie mode I'll show a little more screen here and when we play it we should be able to see it. They're all frozen to start with. And then we find they each move for about 10 seconds, the duration of the clips. And then when they're finished, each one will freeze. Now what I'd like to do now is adjust the timing of our clips. I want the Jeep on the beach to play in its entirety. And then when it's finished, we'll start the gal driving down the road, and then we'll go with the bikers. So I'm going to give myself some more real estate. I'll change the magnification of my tracks. We'll take track number two and highlight the last two segments and drag to the right. And we'll have our little blue marker. It will snap to that. So when the first video is done, it will freeze, but the second video will begin. Now I need to fill in the space with my still image, otherwise I'll have black screen in that quadrant. So we'll stretch it out and make it match. So now if we just play the end of this, we'll watch and see. Let me give myself a little larger room to visualize this again on our recording screen. We'll play it. And now you'll watch the Jeep move. And then when it finishes, the car will start, the lower right quadrant. Let's repeat that process on track number three when the car video is finished. Then we want the bikers to start. So we'll also have to stretch out my first frame still shot on that track. And then to make it look right, we'll need to also stretch out all of these to the length of the entire clip. So when track number one is finished, 
it will freeze for the duration of the rest of the clip. When track two is finished, it will do the same. And track three is obviously going to be very short since it's the last in the rotation. So now I start out with all th three videos being still shots, frozen in time. And then when we play this, the first thing to move will be the Jeep clip. That will run for approximately 10 seconds. And when that is done, it will freeze and the gal driving down the road will begin. And when that clip is over in approximately the same length of time, that will freeze and then the bikers will move down the street. We have a couple other things we want to do with this clip and we'll show you that in our third and final tutorial on this project.